if you are giving advice to somebody that's watched along today that is, if they haven't seen the redesign series yet and then they go watch it, like what would you recommend to somebody who wants to do that? Um, start someplace. That's what we talked about yeah. is to start someplace. I had that one wall that we had done back in 2020 and that one I thought was a great example of how to do things. You know, break it up into pieces and it was my one display that I had and I went to it for everything. And so I started there and now I have so much more. Yeah, for sure. And it, it was interesting. We had um, one person that we work with a lot that as soon as the video series came out, they saw that one that we did in 2020 that has like five different mm -hmm. products in it. They're like, I'm going to do that right away because they didn't have, you know, all the, the stuff to show. And they're like, that's a perfect spot to start. Yes. So, you know, and, and it's fun to see how that worked for you. And now it's expanded into all this cool stuff. Yes. Yeah, for sure. So um, what's your second piece of advice? I'll put you on the spot. Do you remember what that was? about watching the, the Oh, to watch the redesigns yes. early, yes. <laughs> yeah, I regret not watching them sooner. Uh, I took a little bit from every single one that I watched, every person, I was like, oh, that's really great advice, or that's really cool that they did that. And mm -hmm. I would take something from each, each person. I did take yeah. a little bit, and yeah. I loved it. And then, too, even watching like the lives and all that kind of stuff, like there's just so much great information and to hear other people, you know, something that you might be thinking, it's it's nice to hear other people are going through the same thing or oh, thinking the same thing. Especially like, you know, as a business owner, you, you've you been in business a long time, but it's you, yourself, and you, you know, and LV and the kids, you know, it's hard to have that, that dialogue where, you know, somebody that is outside the family gives you recommendations or, you know, kudos, or maybe you shouldn't have done that, you know, yeah. it's good for that, that kind of stuff. So now that you have all the displays in, and it's been you know a handful of months, you've gone through the holiday season, have you seen a product shift? Oh, definitely. I've sold a lot more metals. Okay. Um, metals and canvases probably are my bigger sellers. Um, I've also noticed, too, a lot of people are going a lot bigger. Um, I had a senior and he's on one of the displays. And it was funny, like the mom walked in and she was she saw the four up of the senior girl and she was like, I wanna do something like that oh, in her house. And she fantastic. had a blank wall that was perfect for it. Um, but she ended up not doing all four of those the same size, she ended up doing five. One, the biggest one in the middle, and then she staggered them down. Very cool. um, and that worked for her, but it was perfect because she could visualize it and then using studio, I showed her what it's gonna look exactly on her wall. And she was like, yep, that's exactly what I want to do. That's awesome. Well, we have a little clip from the redesign series of that metal grouping that you're talking yep. about. So let's go ahead and roll that so everybody can see what we're talking about. So let's talk about that senior display that you were just referencing, okay? okay? So that is gonna be four 20 by 40s. Yep. And those are on the float mount, their white base high gloss. Yep. And you chose everything from one session, which is very important when you're trying to sell wall groupings. Um, so it's from one senior girl, yep. but the colors in them are just fantastic. Yeah. So tell us about how that session went. Was that over many days or how did that? Yep, she did two different sessions. One was there's a little festival in town and I took her to that because I was like, let's go do pictures, you know, with the carnival in town, yeah. you know, because it's just like bright, bold colors. And she had like a great array of outfits to kind of complement that. Yeah. And so we did a couple there and then she did a, a different session. She actually came down to Madison. We did some stuff downtown okay. in like a more artsy part of the town where there's just a lot of like painted walls and, you know, different areas to go. Yeah. And that's where we found like the pink wall and then the wall with the, the multicolors on it. Yeah. So it was it was fun and like tying them all together is something maybe I wouldn't have done before. But then when I started looking, I'm like, I just really want like bold, bright colors that pop, especially on the metals up front with all this natural light. Yeah, totally. And it really ties in well together. In that grouping, I love that it's four of the same size. It's like a film strip mm -hmm. storyboard of, um, of her session. And it's very easily like looking at an, an album page and just putting it up on the wall. 